morning and welcome to the left, right and centre. A new debate is brewing on the preamble to the Indian constitution after Republic Day spread with a picture of the original preamble that doesn't have the words secular or socialist in it, unlike the current one amended to include the terms in 1976. The Shiv Sena has asked to go back to the original as the Congress hits out at the BJP and its allies over this. We ask what the word means to people today. Also on the show tonight, a baffling White House statement distinguishing between the Taliban and the Islamic State, calling the Taliban an armed insurgency and not a terrorist group. The comment is specific to the Afghan Taliban and not its twin in Pakistan. But what has provoked it? Does it indicate a worrying return to distinctions like good Taliban and bad Taliban that countries like India certainly are not comfortable with? But first, on the preamble to the constitution amended in 1976 to include the words socialist and secular, one of the BJP's senior leaders, Cabinet Minister Ravi Shankar Prasad, has spoken to my colleague Rahul Srivastav. While he clarifies the government has no intention to change the preamble, he wants everyone to remember that the founding fathers of the country and the original authors of the constitution among, uh, did not use the terms in the original preamble because they trusted Indians to respect each other's fates and diversity. Communications Minister Mr. Ravi Shankar Prashad has been Law Minister and I can say that in his term last time around the first ever real replica of the Constitution of India was published. The preamble, socialist and secular word, the one which was amended in 1976 has not been used. Instead the one which was adopted in 1950 has been used. What do you have to say about it? But this whole debate is pointless. Why do you but say it's pointless? Particularly raised by the Congress party. In 2000, this copy was given to all the MPs by then government. It was the 50th year. Uh, original constitution. And I would like today's India, young India, to go through it. It bears the signature of Jawaharlal Nehru, Madana Azad, Sardar Patel, Bhimdav Medkar, Rajan Prashad. Brilliant people, outstanding people. And it is really a treat to see how they have covered this constitution with the heritage of India, with the cultural moorings of India. You are trying to say is that you are trying to showcase the original intent of the creators of the constitution? No, I only want the present India to know Nehruji was a great man. Why they did not put secular and socialist in the original preamble? Why? Why do you think they did? Well, they knew the heritage of India. And what is the heritage of India? Trust, respect for each other's faiths. The government does not intend to change anything of 1976. Which can't be because the courts e have ruled now. No, no, e even that came in under the cover of dark emergency. For example, you take oath as minister. You take oath as the current constitution of India or the original constitution? Obviously, the current constitution of India. The constitution as it stands today. Many amendments have taken place. Nandalal Bose, the eminent painter, was commissioned by Nehruji and other leaders as to what did Nandalal Bose uh, create the various because I have seen the, the the first copy in which chapter is depicted by Lord Ram, uh, Lakshman, and Sita. Yes, and the second one is Gita Upadesh by Lord Krishna. Then there is also Gautam Buddha, Mahavir. There is of course Akbar also. Akbar also there. Then there is Guru Gobind Singh. Then there is Shivaji. Why do you want a debate? You want a debate on that very idea that this is what the original Constitution preamble no, 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 was. No, no. And this is what the new one is. No, 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 I don't want any debate. I have asked a simple question to my Congress friends. Was Jawaharlal Nehru not a secular person? Their top leader. I also respect Mr. Nehru, Sadar Patel, Imna Medkar, Madana Azad. Why did they not choose to incorporate that? Congress must answer because they are seeking answer from us. Well, first up, so let's uh, go across to Chennai, where Gopal Gandhi, former governor, joining us uh, from there. Sir, I'd like to ask you, what do you make of this entire controversy that the Shiv Sena seems to have stirred up? I think the controversy is entirely unnecessary. But more than unnecessary, I think it's mischievous. I'm very glad to have heard uh, the Honorable Minister for Telecommunication say a little while ago that the government has no intention of changing anything in the preamble. That is a reassurance which I welcome. But I would like to know if that is the case, what is the need for a debate? Why do you want to debate something which you are not doing, which you are not intending to do? 
My point is very simple. The minister said a few moments ago that Pandiji, Pandit Jawaharlal Nehru was a great man. Of course he was. I do not know why that has to be restated by anybody. Uh, he is not a property of the Congress, he is a property of the nation. He was a great and far-sighted man. But does that mean that there was no amendment done to the constitution which he had piloted by him in his own time? Of course it was amended even in his time. The question at issue is, the word socialism and more importantly the word secularism were introduced in the preamble of the constitution in 1976. The Janata Party, which was opposed to the emergency, vowed that all the amendments of the 42nd Amendment, all the clauses of the 42nd Amendment brought in along with this particular amendment of, of the preamble will be reversed. Right. Atelji was in the cabinet of the Janata government. Uh, Mr. Advani was in the cabinet in the Janata government. They did not remove the words socialist and secular which had been brought into the preamble by the 42nd Amendment. Everything else was removed, or rather most of the things that were brought in by the 42nd Amendment so, sir, were removed a... by the Janata government, so, as sir, it should have been, but not this, not the word secular. Right. Atalji retained the word secular. Atalji's uh, membership of the cabinet in, uh, in, in 1977 is a very important membership. That cabinet, which was an anti-emergency cabinet, respected the inclusion of the word secular right. in the preamble. So, Why so... should there be a discussion on this today? So, Mr. Gandhi, if I can ask you, you're saying the Shiv Sena, uh, the raise, raising this is a mischievous thing, really, and it stems from the fact that the advertisement used on Republic Day in some of the newspapers uh, showed an image of the original preamble uh, that hadn't been amended to include the word secular and socialist. Now, the, the follow-up question to that, you had written an open letter to Prime Minister Modi after he uh, won the election where you talked about assurances that you would like to see from the Prime Minister on uh, religious minorities and uh, ensuring India's religious freedoms are uh, protected and maintained. Uh, do you see that, that need or that demand of yours being fulfilled right now? Thank you for asking me this question. I believe uh, one of the most important functions of the concept of secularism in a republic such as India is giving an assurance to the minorities that they have an equal place in the body politic of India. That assurance is embedded in the word secular and I think it is very important that that assurance be strengthened every time there is a change of government. Even within the same party it is very important that that be restated and I think the fact that Shiva Sena and others are asking for a discussion on this weakens that ingredient of the word secular. It weakens this, the faith of the minorities in India. And I'm not referring only to the Islamic minorities. There are all the minorities of India, including the Dalits. They require to be assured that their place under the sun in the Republic of India is not defined by their numbers but by their contribution to the completeness of the picture of India. That assurance is shaken when people from the circles of power today speak of a debate on something which has been ingrained in our national psyche. Right. Uh, Mr. Gandhi, thank you so much for giving NDTV some of your uh, time this evening on this very critical issue. We are going to be uh, debating this in our studio as, w as well uh, right now. We are being joined uh, in the studio by constitutional expert Subhash Kashyap uh, with me. Also from the Congress, Dr. Ajay Kumar, who is a spokesperson. Uh, we are being joined by uh, GVL Narsimha Rao of the BJP as well. Uh, and uh, Siddharth Bhatia, senior journalist uh, from Mumbai who's joining us. Uh, I want to take this to the BJP uh, first. We've heard Ravi Shankar Prasad uh, come out and make some assurances about the fact that there is uh, there is no intention on the part of the government at all to fiddle with the preamble of the constitution or try and change it in any way. So I guess the question that begs to be asked right now is if, you know, the BJP has made its intention clear, the government's intention clear, what do you do about alliance partners like the Shiv Sena who make a, what Mr. Gandhi has called these mischievous demands? No, I, <clears throat> I, I, I think uh, let them have their views. But the government has made its views clear. 
the uh, the dominant party in the government has made its views clear and i think there has been an attempt time and again to somehow uh, imagine conspiracies mm -hmm. and to target uh, the government of shri narendra modi and a lot of this has actually come from the congress party and hoping that the kind of uh, gospels campaign uh, repeated time and again it would eventually stick but the same party sometimes uh, gets into a, a dilemma whether it is also being seen as anti hindu i i think it's purely uh, uh, somebody's imagination it was clarified by the the minister minister for uh, information and broadcasting minister of state for inb that this was here in this ad the uh, the picture that was used was that of the original constitution and this had been used even by the previous governments in advertisements in the past so why rake up this i think it's only i think the people who have taken offense to it have to really highlight what are what are what are the issues that they have with this right uh, uh, i'd like to bring the congress in as well on on that what are the issues are exactly because on the one hand you know uh, what ragvid rathor the minister said is that this advertisement that first became the focus of the controversy which the congress raised as well was used in the past as recently as last year when uh, there was a upa government in power as well so it was an oversight even by the previous government first of all uh, uh, just to mr narsimha rao that you know a majority of people in the congress because of the population structure in this country we may, we will be hindus but we don't believe in the rs uh, the bjp rss minded you know type of hinduism which they want to propagate and and then slipping in you know this anti hindu kind of perception we are for india hindu muslim christian parsi and sikh everybody else so i just just like mr uh, narsimha rao to stop political agenda on the at least on the uh, on a important issue the other part is that the history of this uh, government if you see shiv sena has made a statement there is no statement from the government so they keep playing this dual politics you know one guy their ally will make some uh, fringe uh, <laughs> and they keep calling it fringe but the interesting part is the fringe is becoming the center i'll give you an example of what uh, the minister said the minister said that jawal nehru never brought it in the preamble so, and uh, they were you know wise people like uh, sardar patel sardar patel also they forget conveniently forget had banned the rss and asked them that they will not be involved in any political activity that they are not ready to follow they keep twisting you know twisting uh, the uh, founding fathers uh, perspective of what they uh, what they imagine to be india so the issue is uh, sena getting involved in making this saying it's a hindu rashtra there's no comment from the government they're saying it's a mistake mr rator says it's a mistake the head of uh, Prachar, uh, prasar bharti says that we didn't have a fasi mile <coughs> so uh, and then the repeated events why it sticks is because you keep saying hindu women should have right. 10 children you okay. should have love jihad you should have so obviously it sticks okay. if they were all not right. doing all, all right. this it would stick mr narsimha you want to come in quickly on that before i bring in our other panelists go ahead <coughs> uh, you see this was an amendment made in 1976 the original uh, while, while the original constitution constitution was being drafted the discussions in the constituent assembly clearly show that dr ambedkar was not inclined to use this term secular in the constitution he was opposed to it he said our constitution itself allows it gives a kind of uh, equality to all religions so therefore there was no need to use it so is the congress party now finding fault with dr dr ambedkar is the congress no, party no, wanting to raise uh, questions about the intent of Maya, dr ambedkar Maya, so, so maya so let me come to this point again maya it's very interesting again doctor after after that 42nd amendment atal bihari vajpayee ji mr adwani were in the, and correctly as mr gopal gandhi said the 42nd amendment they didn't change that and the constitution has been amended 99 times so obviously it's a evolving okay. document all right. and suddenly all right. if you so okay you let's know, let's bring so in all right mr narsimha rao so congress mr. and bjp let's bring in our other guests into this uh, subhash kashyap in the studio you're listening to this debate the the constitution has been amended several times the preamble was uh, amended in uh, 1976 when uh, the the next government came in after the emergency lots of things were annulled that decisions that were taken at the time of the emergency this was not one of them they everyone thought it fit to leave these words in the preamble so what's the argument really the personally i think that this controversy at the present moment is entirely unwarranted it is started with the advertisement the advertisement actually on republic day had published the original preamble 
which established the republic and we were celebrating the republic day and no words were deleted from the preamble it was a photocopy of the original constitution and while celebrating the republic day you had to give the photocopy of that document which had established the republic on 26 january 1950 if they had added the word secular and socialist it would have been a meddling with the text of the constitution so no no sin was committed i have no brief for the government or for any party but i as a student of the constitution i do not think any sin was committed by showing to the people the constitution as it was with the borders prepared by dandlal both and the constitution signed by all the members of the constitution assembly that is what was being shown as for the words, as for secular the constitution was secular is secular and will remain secular hmm. whether the word secular is in the preamble or not in okay. the preamble all right. even when the word secular was not in the preamble it was clearly established in the constitution in fact one of the points the one of the points that was raised is because our, our founding fathers trusted indian society enough to ensure that uh, religious freedoms were protected siddhant bhatia come in on this you know uh, maya uh, you know this has to be seen in a proper context uh, the ad is now a red herring a little bit of a red herring as mr kashyap has pointed out that uh, uh, that the tradition has been and last year also it happened that on republic day you printed the ad uh, which was the original photocopy of the original preamble but you have to see it in context firstly that there have been a uh, severe attacks on minorities in one way or the other in the last few months secondly the idea of secularism is something that is anathema to a lot of people who are very close to or part of the ruling dispensation third i see a little bit of a kind of game plan here is that the after the ad immediately the shiv sena came out with uh, its comments and immediately mr ravi shankar prasad said uh, that uh, let's have a national debate on it so as mr gandhi pointed out and i'm very heartened to hear mr ravi shankar prasad just now but as he pointed out if there is absolutely no cause and the government doesn't plan to do it why have a national debate at all just say the matter is closed right so i see some kind of pattern it's a little bit of a if i was as a political analyst i would say there is a little bit of kite flying going on here just to see how it floats and let a fringe party do it rather than the government or the main party do it and to see whether this works and to cry that you know people are looking at conspiracy etc that's what analysts do if they look at patterns and the pattern is very clear that you've been attacking the minorities left right and center then you do this just one more thing that goads the minorities into thinking what is my place in this nation and the word secular you know you can go back and forth arguing that it wasn't there and it was added and we must notice that in 50 years 48 years it has not been removed by any other government because it gives a reassurance to the minorities and to the rest of the country that india fundamentally is a secular nation and this is guaranteed by the constitution right. you don't want to change it then why say have a debate 